quick one. Today's episode. Do I need video and photography when I'm having a wedding? Do I have to book for video and photography? Well, well. again, quick answer is that it comes back to your pocket and your interest. But experience advice, if you cannot afford the two, if the package that the person is giving you uh, is on the high side and you feel you cannot afford, the only advice I can give is that take photography if you cannot afford. But if you can afford, then combine the two. It makes sense. Because um, mostly, mostly, people watch the photos than video. That is not to spoil my business anyway, but <laughs> if you book us for the two, we'll, we'll graciously do the work for you. But per, per knowing this, this job, um, people will book, yes, people would, would be interested more in, in, in their pictures. You know, pictures are easy to share. And sometimes when you are there and you are bored, you can just pick your photo book and be flipping. You know, you can flip through and be checking your your wedding pictures that you took. So yeah, um, if you cannot afford the two, pictures only will be the appropriate way to go. Do I need a wedding video? Yeah, you know, wedding anniversary, five years, ten years. You sit with your wife and probably kids 20 years time they want to see that the mom you know those are the moments where video becomes very very necessary today we watch Kwame Nkrumah and declaration of independence video it wasn't about pictures if it were pictures we wouldn't hear at long last so yeah uh, if you can afford do that too but if you can't the best advice is that go with pictures they also last <laughs>